Um, but I think the experience that we've been having so far has been good. Even though it is a public school, like you said, and in your local area where it might not be that good as somewhere else. But the teachers over there, I've not had a problem with that very communicative, like sending you messages daily. Um, I think that helps when they use the messaging applications and stuff. Uh, like Dojo or Remind, and they're constantly talking to you about your child. Like every day, she's sending what they were working on as a class or videos or pictures of them doing it. Um, so that's been very, um, like, easing for me because also, uh, like I mentioned to Ms. Harris, I said, it's hard right now because, thank you, <laughs> you guys sit down. It's hard right now because a lot of the places are still on these COVID protocols too. Mm -hmm. So they're not allowing parents to the schools where you would usually go and volunteer to be a part of your right, child's school right, right. or um, like parent-teacher conferences and stuff like that. We're not having those right now because they're just like, the child is the only person allowed into the school unless emergency or something like that. So um, yeah, my experience so far has been good, but I think it's a lot to do with just them communicating from inside the school out to me and just putting my mind at ease that they're okay during the day, even though I'm not able to be there physically and seeing them. Okay. We're getting close towards the end, so if we can get our responses. Yeah, I like so my teacher, his teacher, she, she's very structured and she sends what she sends the reminder, they send pictures and let you know they do um, virtual conferences. All type of things like that, and that's you know to keep you informed. Have you been satisfied with your early yes. childhood experience? I'm fine. Um, but I don't have any problem with like the stuff teaching because it's not well. I guess I would have to see once the child really enters school, the main difference because I don't know the difference right now. <laughs> Next um, I my name, key, oh, here. My experience in early childhood has been good. Um, I work for a child care center, so we use like Bright Wheel to communicate with our parents. You get, you know, pictures, you know how your child day has went. Um, if there's anything you need to update, like that's how we communicate. So it's like a basically like a class dojo. Mm -hmm. You know, even though the parents can't come in, like, we, you know, but I'm the kind of person that I stop you and say, okay, this is how your child day was, or you can text me all day and I'm going to text you back because <laughs> that's just what it is. Because I'm the same way with my baby, so I, I want everybody to know I'm going to be the same way with you. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I've been satisfied with my, uh, my with my uh, four-year-old, she um, she was blessed with a teacher that's pretty, um, I don't want to say old, like she's mature. Mm -hmm. I can tell she has years of experience and I can tell that she really loves her kids. Um, so I've been satisfied with that and I'm noticing even um, just her improvement with communicating. She can write her name well. She, you know, I, I see the, I can tell that the teacher is really doing her job also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, um, for the most part, the school she's at now, yes, the school, Greenbrier, um, not so much, but I think it was just maybe the teacher, um, and she wasn't really suited for my child's needs, but like I said, my child, as far as curriculum, yeah, I'm happy. She she knows how to count, she knows the colors, she spells stuff, she's learned, you know, she knows how to read a little bit. She even knows a little bit of Spanish, so, I mean, I'm happy. Um... I don't have a child in uh, pre-K yet. Um, Bella is one, but from what I see so far, not being biased uh, with our students at uh, Crestwood Early Learning Center, I think they are doing pretty well. <laughs> right. Satisfied? And I'm gonna go to you. Too. Which way we're going? Um, so far, yeah. I just feel like they should have more homework and activities to where they're learning more because half the time. When I'm asking her what she's learning, <clears throat> she's telling me the same thing. Okay. Yeah, I learned my one, two, threes, and ABCs. I'm like, same right. thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I do. I have noticed, like, uh, you have my other kids don't go down. Like I said, I'm not trying to praise no down, but. My um, I have a friend that started in pre-K for Hosanna, and she's more advanced than she is. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I guess it's like a. I'm not sure if Hosanna was like a private through, yeah, yeah. through yeah. EBR, yeah. early yeah. learning, yeah. but um, you got to have like a tuition or something, but like, mm -hmm. if you like low income and stuff, it would help you mm -hmm. pay, mm -hmm. but it is a bit different with Hosanna, just a regular EBR. Have you been experimenting, have you been satisfied with your experiment? Um, particularly because of the disability? So, as of now, I am. Um, when I first started the process, I was not. Um, my child, um, if I was not the parent that I am, my child unfortunately would have fallen through the cracks as far as trying to get her services. Um, and so I had to go through all this whole process with um, with people appraisal, as far which who, which is who does the evals to qualify the students to get their services. And I had to ended up getting a, a lawyer involved and all of this other type of stuff for my child to be able to get the services that she is supposed to get. Mm -hmm. um, and it should, that should not have been, I should not have had to jump through all those hoops. And, and you know, I, 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 and I, I paid twice, right? Because my money is already paying for the lawyer for EBR. Right. Then I had to pay for the lawyer for myself. Um, and so, um, in the beginning, no, I was not. And so, I, I and from what I heard, that unfortunately is, is the norm for parents with disabilities. And so that's really sad. Um, but as of now, my experience has been um, awesome. My daughter's teacher is amazing. Um, we do use the classroom doja, and so she sends me pictures all the time. Um, she will call me. Um, I can call her whenever after hours saying, you know, like, I'm already did this today. She gives me tips as far as, you know, the things that they're working on as far as how to help her. Um, when I'm working with her at home and things like that. So as of now, yes, in the beginning, I was not. Satisfied? Okay. My last question is, is there anything else you'd like to tell us? What else would you like to add that we have not discussed that might be relevant as we develop a strategic plan to expand access for early care and education needs that we Anything that we did not discuss that you'd like to add? I do. Thank you. Um, you got something to say? That's right, baby. You raise your hand. That's right. You right here. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, our, our children with disabilities. None of the questions were geared towards, none of the questions were geared towards, um, their, their experience, you know, their 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 interactions, their their you know what they learned, like absolutely nothing. And so it, it it's, it's a little disheartening um, because if I was not here, that that perspective would not have been represented. Yeah. And so um, it's 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 very sad because a lot of their services are provided through Medicaid. So the money and the funding and stuff is there. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's really, it's really sad and disheartening um, because again, we have to jump through all of these hoops to, to get our kids what, what they deserve. And they are always, 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 without a doubt, mm -hmm. left off yeah. in everything that EBR does. Children with disabilities are never mentioned unless somebody in that room is either a parent or an advocate. And so that needs to be the priority. Mm -hmm. Any other, anything else that you Relevant to this conversation. It's on the recorder, so she knows it's going to hear it. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for your time. We appreciate you coming out, and because of your active participation, we do have gift cards for the participants. What? So you know about the <laughs> <laughs> I oh, y'all, and look, when y'all get a chance, uh, do y'all mind taking this survey? Just scan it with your phone if you haven't already. Yeah. Um, because I actually do feel the same. Um, who also went through South Carolina. And, um, what was your question? So, do y'all plan on in the future, like, you always I can't answer that question, but it is being noted for EBR to take reference of it. I give you a call? No. He's saying, but you can call me. And this will end.
if I can.